Welcome along and welcome back to Ohio and American Life Farming. We today are headed down to the shop because we need to pick up a new piece of equipment. We've got a couple of bits actually that we need to pick up today. Uh, it is day two of spring, uh, of uh, in fact early spring, uh, and we need to sort out our fields a little bit. Now we've toyed with one of these before. Uh, this is a PG-25. It's 142,000. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's quite a nice bit of kit here. Uh, it will hold 25,000 litres. It is, of course, a slurry tank uh, and, uh, and works slurry spreader. So this should be quite good for us. Uh, we're looking at either Nokian or Trellebalk tyres. I'm going to go with the Trellebalk tyres for this. Uh, and yeah, it is 142,000. So we are spending some of our cow money, but uh, it's going to be worth it uh, overall for what we're going to get. So we're going to buy this yes uh, and the reason why i'm buying this is because we have a lot of work that we're going to be doing with these in the future and we're actually going to get this a sbh uh sbh 436 here uh this is 36 meter dribble bar uh we can we can use this on grass and we can also use this on our fields so we're going to buy this as well yep perfect for fifty three thousand. um and then later on we're going to come back down here because we need something to plant the grass with. Our current cedar won't do it, um, but we're not looking to have a cedar overall uh, or looking to keep a cedar overall that will uh, will do grass because once grass is planted, it's all good and in. And once uh, grass is... Um, uh, and, and, and we don't have uh, any reason to be planting any wheat or barley or anything like that at the moment. So we're, we're not going to be doing that. I want to reverse this up and in, and this should fit on this. Uh, it is just a matter of getting it to hook up. Now, it'll either hook straight up, or we'll have to go to the back and hook it up. We've got to go to the back and hook this up, I think. Nope, we're not close enough yet. Distance, not a great thing on here. There we go. That should be far enough. And then hook that up. And make sure all of our, yeah, all of our cables and everything are hooked up as well. Surprised there's not a. I thought that there would have been another connection or something that goes up. Yeah, it seems to be something that goes up on the top. Let's have a look at this from here. Uh, oh yeah, that is all connected in. I think. Uh, so that's all good. Uh, so we can now get this back to our farm, uh, where we're going to load it up with some slurry because the soybean field needs sorting back at the farm and i'm just gonna loop around uh well this is a calf shed but we've actually got the combine in there at the moment and we're just gonna loop around this and come out the other side that will make it easier for us to reverse up to where we want to be and we'll take the uh lights off as well and then just back this up here and get this here i'm tempted to actually demolish this calf shed uh to put something in here a bit more useful something that will hold both the combine and the uh and the headers there as well a refill and we've got 735,000 liters of slurry in here it's absolutely ridiculous how much we've got this fills up fairly quickly though which is great news let's just have a look while this is filling up at the status of our cows so we have a lot of cows that are verging on 1200 pounds we've got a lot there at the 1330 uh, and a lot that are over the 1200 my plan i think is to sell off all of these at once we'll give it one more day and then we're going to sell all of this and make a ton of money back uh, which should do us quite well and we'll then start refilling our cows uh, and uh, and doing this year's set Again, doing 60 at a time and trying to sort of spread it over a few days so that we should be able to then, you know, make as, make as much money as we can uh, come the end of the year in a fairly short period. We'll bring this around here because we're heading out over to field 27. And this, of course, was last year's soybean crop that we had in here. The field is actually pretty horrible as far as uh, stuff goes in fact just looking at that it looks like the corn 
is fairly horrible as well. Let's have a look over here. Now, we did apply some uh, fertilizer to that. But, yeah, we need to do field 13 as well. Uh, so, yeah, there's, there's quite a lot of fields that need uh, increasing their pH values around here. Uh, we're actually going to go over this way. We're going to activate the GPS and open this up. This is nice and wide and should be fairly quick. My biggest worry is that we're going to run out uh, fairly quickly. So we're going to give it a nice wide setup here uh, and head down the field this way like so. Let's uh, set our first point. I think we are going, we're going 179.3. I think we want to be just over 180 looking at that. And turn it back slightly. There we go. We'll go exactly 180. Uh, we'll set our first waypoint. We'll drop it down. Start it up. And away we go. And this should raise the pH. Uh, should raise the nitrogen on this level. Uh, on this uh, quite nicely. And we'll set our second waypoint, set our width, and away we go. As I suspected, this is getting through the slurry quite quickly. We are on our second run back to the slurry pit to refill. Um, I am kind of wondering if we would be able to fill up the tanker on the TLX and get that. That would be, I, th I think that would probably do us for two or three loads, uh, which would do us most of this field. Um, but I'm not sure it's really worth it for the short distance we're doing. If we were going further, whoa. Uh, if we were going further, then I would, uh, I would consider it a little bit more. I think we're gonna end up using at least 100,000 liters of slurry on this field. I actually think that when we come to do field 13, uh, we're going to end up using a huge amount, maybe two, uh, two and a half, uh, thousand, uh, sorry, 250,000 litres of slurry, quite conceivably. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that field might take us a little while to do. And uh, I'm, I'm intrigued as to how we're going to do, but... Uh, that's the one we'll get on to in a minute once we've finished this one uh, But yeah at the moment this this is getting through it fairly swiftly and with our third and final refill so uh, 100,000 uh, Sorry, uh, yeah 100,000 liters in total because we've got 25,000 on here each time uh, We've got a little bit to run down the side of this field for uh, So we're gonna get this in position uh, and uh, and yeah, and then this will be finished. We should have enough to sort of finish off a couple of patches we've got here. This is the biggest patch uh, that we have. So we'll just pull that in a little bit and start it up, drop it down. That should cover it. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and then, yeah, there's a couple of sections down this side of the field we need to do. So we're going to clear out this bit first. And then we'll turn it off. And then we'll go and do the second bit a little bit further down here. Uh, and then there's a thin slither on the far side of the field that we should be able to get with just the end uh, part. But that should cover that. In fact, can we get right into this corner and clear this out? Um, but this, this basically means this field is done and dusted. We're all quite happy with. In fact... I know why we haven't done field 13. And uh, it actually means that we can save ourselves some trouble today because field 13 is going to be soybeans next year. So we have no need. Oh, let's not hit that on the tree. Uh, we have no need to actually go and do that field. Uh, it will be absolutely fine as it is. Uh, it doesn't require any extra. And it's actually one of those things where we didn't need to do this field either, I don't think. Or we did because uh, we're putting corn into 38. We're putting... Uh, I think we're putting soybeans into 13. And into 27 is where the sunflowers are going. Let's check our rotation. Sunflowers after soybeans, yes. 
uh, corn uh, and uh, corn after sunflowers. Yep, that's exactly what we have. So actually putting uh, the extra nitrogen onto field 13 would be pointless this year and a complete waste. So that's fine. What we can go and do instead is uh, refill this and then go and do our grass fields because the grass is going to require some extra uh, nitrogen, uh, especially the way those fields are at the moment. So uh, we'll try and get those up a little bit. And then when we come to plant the grass in the near future, we should be in a much better position with it. Now, one thing to note about the corn this year is we won't need to get a forage harvester for it because uh, we're going to be in a position where we have plenty of silage. We already know that we have plenty of silage for the farm. So uh, we're, we're in a position where uh, the farm has enough feed for the cows. Even if we fed them only silage, uh, we would have enough feed for the cows. Uh, we're going to have enough feed between the hay and the silage to do it. Um, we're going to be able to do a nice set of mixed rations between these two. And so as a result, it's going to be a case of uh, harvesting the corn for ourselves and uh, and selling it that way, which is going to be pretty profitable. Um, it should save us a load of money because we don't have to hire a forage harvester to do it. And we know that we're going to sell it all as well, um, which is also another good position to be in. Right, let's back this up to here. Uh, down it goes. On it goes, and away we go. Perfect. And then I want to line myself up along this edge so that we can set ourselves a new GPS going down here like this. And this should mean that our ground and our farm is, uh, is in a very good position going forwards. Is that going to stay along that edge? I'm hoping that's going to stay along that edge. One refill, and we've done most of this extended field. Uh, we should get part of the way around this headland that I've left at the end here, but I think we're still going to have to refill again. We've got the new little field around by the pond to fill in as well and uh, and get done. So there's still, there's still a lot to do over this side. Uh, it is all looking pretty good, though. Um, I'm very, very happy with the state of this field it should be a really good grass field uh we have run out so let's lift that up and turn it off oh lift it up yeah, there we go right yeah it's getting the uh bits in the right order uh, and then we can fold it up and then it comes and head back down this path over here to get the rest of this done check that my boom is in and there it is so uh, yeah nicely round the back here not a uh, not a path that we've used very much on it gonna be interesting to get this into this corner bit here especially without putting any slurry in the lake I want to avoid doing that at all costs really uh, all in all this has been working pretty well today we have got uh, so far uh, 150,000 liters of slurry onto our field with this piece of kit it is a lot of back and forth um but as I was saying earlier we don't have the horsepower on the farm to get the bigger uh samson or i would have uh it would have uh, it would have been the slightly better one to go for it does hold i think about ten thousand more liters so it'd be less of a back and forth but we we have in this tractor here i think it's too uh and we have 319 horsepower the larger one of these takes 350 horsepower so we're just under what we need uh, in order to to be able to use the large one unfortunately and at some point i do plan on getting i think a larger tractor on this farm but we don't really have enough farm at the moment to uh to warrant it um, we've only got 17.3 hours on this tractor after the first year uh, and this has basically been doing all of the workhorse stuff around here so yeah it's it's not something i can uh, really justify at the moment we're more focused 
on making sure that going into the second year, uh, A, we replenish our stock of beef cattle, and B, uh, that uh, we can use the first year's profits to uh, extend what we can do on the farm. And mainly this year, that's making sure that we're able to produce the hay that uh, that we weren't able to in the first year and uh, and therefore make the money uh, and therefore uh, not have to spend the money uh, in order to feed our cows and keep them happy we want to be careful we're fairly close to the uh, hedge uh, to the fence here so we want to try and minimize the overlap not hit our equipment on that and uh, we should be all good yep that has gone there fine I said this little bit of the field was going to be fiddly and it really is i need to get this round and lift cut that off before we put anything into the pond and then i should be able to back this up this is almost more difficult to back up than a dolly trailer it's got a rear it's not just got a rear steering axle it's front section of its axles steer as well so this will turn a really sharp corner this piece of kit um, and it when you're reversing it will get away from you very very quickly so trying to make sure that it doesn't uh, is a job in and itself uh, we're close but we should be okay and yeah you can see here this is a massive width more than uh, we're able to do and that steering axle kicking in again we may have to just do this corner a little bit more differently to try and get it to work uh i may have to shut off i know what i'll do i will shut off the uh, injectors on one side uh, on that side over the pond and hopefully that should be good shutting off half of this will work Oh, absolutely fine. So long as we don't put this into the pond. There we go. Yeah, shut off the injectors on one side. And we're all good on this side. Ah, oh, and we've run out. So we'll get this rebuild again and we'll head back up there. We'll get those uh, last few bits done and then we'll head up and do the field around the house. So with our slurry refilled, we can open this back up. Pull it across so that we get keeping away from our fence. And drop it down and away we go perfect and that will just finish that bit off there and then we can swing around here and finish this bit off here as well i don't like that and that will mean that all of field 12 here is done uh should cover it all the way in there we go perfect so lift that up and fold it up and we'll go and do the field around the house it's amazing that that took 22 percent of our slurry to do just that little bit of field uh on that previous one i'm gonna take this up here actually and well no we want to this is a really weird shaped field let's get this turning the right way there we go and bring it round and in perfect down on and away we go and yep this will drag this up to a higher rate as well and should mean that all of these grass fields when we get them planted next time are going to be much much better prepared uh for that it is going down fairly quickly i mean these must be dropping yeah 80 60 to 80 uh, kilograms per hectare 
is quite a large amount of nitrogen we're doing here so it's uh, yeah it's it's dumping a lot on this soil at once and as a result uh, that's why we're going through this quite fast on all these fields because uh, yeah it's putting a massive amount down uh, in order to uh, bring them back up it's going to take two loads of slurry for us to get this field done in fact that's uh that's quite a large amount really uh, but we'll go right to the end of this and hopefully square this off a bit this is a very big piece of kit i'm wondering if we might do better with something a little bit smaller I'm going to come around for the last little bit. I'm hoping we've got... I think we've got enough width to get all of this in here. Yeah. I, I am wondering. This is a... This is a good way of getting it in. But it is... Unwieldy on some of these fields. We're going to try and get this into position. The rear... The, Rear steering on this is really quite annoying. There we go. If we get that there, drop it down, turn it on, and away we go. And that should get the rest of this field here. And get that inner position where this one is ready as well. And just one more field to go. Field 10. And we're going to go and get that now. We've got to fold all this up to get in there. Because this is a massively fenced off field. Should be a lot easier though than the other ones. This one is fairly square. So we're going to just drive into here. And uh, I'm going to start by going around the edges. And seeing if uh, seeing if we can do that. And then if we get this, if get this fence out. Field 10 actually... We could extend it that way a bit and, yeah, we could make a bigger field out of this. Not that we need it at the moment, to be honest. So let's uh, let's just get some slurry down on this and get this up to spec with its nitrogen as well. Last load and then this field is done. We've got just the headlands to go on here after this row so we're just going to maneuver ourselves up this really really does not like to reverse this you have to watch it very carefully because it runs away from you in no time at all right on down and away we go and this hopefully should last us this last bit around the field uh we're gonna yeah we're gonna get this row done and then i'm just gonna do the headlands and we'll see hopefully if we have enough <coughs> and the answer to that question is looking to be no we've got a tiny area at the top end of this field but we're gonna run out before we get to this top end so let's lift this up one more refill and then we can go and finish this field off oh we've spun around let's go uh finish this field off and just grab yeah this last little bit to clean it off I've only filled my tanker to 60% and we've got it turned around and sitting at the end of the field here. Let's unfold this and hopefully this 60% is going to be enough. Turn it on, drop it down, away we go. And with any luck, this will be just enough to get this final strip done and finished off and then that's everything sorry that's everything that's the, that should be the nitrogen across the farm all set up and done and uh, and ready for our planting to start 
uh, which is absolutely fantastic. There we go. That is the end of that. And we'll fold that up. Uh, and brilliant. I'm very, very happy with that. Put the handbrake on. That is uh, that has come along very nicely. So we are going to leave this here for today. Uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.